Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from windingroadcrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make the spike stitch border. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. This is actually a pretty simple border that only uses single crochets and spike stitch single crochets. It looks pretty much the same on the front and the back, so it's a basically a two-sided border and this will actually work on any blanket. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is my little blanket sample and what makes this work for any blanket is that all you need is an odd number of stitches on every single side of your blanket. So between the two corner pieces you need an odd number of stitches but we can correct that as we work our first row. Also, before I start any blanket project, I always work a single crochet border around the edge so that we have a great little um, base to start on. And I do have a video tutorial for that and I will link it in the description box and in the corner. To get started, we're gonna pick any corner. I have a chain ones in my corner from working the single crochet border. And we're going to go ahead and start with our pink which I'm going to be calling our main color because it's going to be the color we use for our spike stitches. So just pull that through your corner and then we are going to just chain one to secure that into the corner. And then we are going to chain one to start the row. In our corner, we're gonna work two single crochets. And then we're going to single crochet in every stitch across. The first four rows that we are working is just another four rows of single crochet border. While you're working your first row of border, I would definitely count your stitches and make sure you have an odd number. If you do not end up with an odd number, that is absolutely okay. What we're going to do is just pull out a few stitches and we're going to work a single crochet decrease or single crochet two stitches together. So pull up a loop in your next two stitches, yarn over and pull it through all the loops on your hook in order to decrease by one, making your even number into an odd number. Finish up your row. And then when you reach your corner, we are going to work three single crochets into the corner. And that center single crochet, I'm going to be referring to as the corner stitch. If you need to use a stitch marker to mark it, by all means do so. Now I'm just going to repeat this all the way around the rest of my project, working a single crochet into each stitch counting my stitches to make sure that I have an odd number on each side, work a decrease if necessary to fix your stitch count, and work the three single crochets into each corner. Here I've reached another corner, and once again I'm going to work three single crochets into this corner. That's how we're going to be working all the corners for our project. And then Again, if you need to add a stitch marker, feel free. But I'll just go ahead and finish up this row, just working a simple single crochet border. When you reach the very end of your row, remember to work one more single crochet into that starting corner. That way we will have three single crochet in this corner and slip stitch to the very first single crochet. Now I'm going to repeat this row another time, working one more row of single crochet with my pink yarn. So I'm working chaining one and working two single crochet in the corner. I'm going to single crochet all the way down. When I reach my next corner stitch, I am going to work three single crochet into the corner again and just repeat this process for every single side. Remember to move up your stitch marker if you're using it 
but just continue working along the rest of your rows just as we've done this first row. Once we've finished our second row, again, that last corner, you're gonna to have to work a extra single crochet stitch into. And then as we work our slip stitch, we are going to change colors. And in this case, I am changing over to white. And then I'm going to repeat rows one and two with white. So rows three and four is just a single crochet border row using the white instead. So here you can see I have worked two more rows, single crochet borders, in white. And I'm just going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. And once again, I'm going to change colors. This time I'm going back to pink. I am carrying my yarn up the back of my project, but it does leave a little loop here. So feel free to fasten off and join with a new yarn so that you don't have that little stitch there, but it's completely up to you. Now we're going to do our spike stitch row. To do this row, we're going to chain one and again work two single crochet into the very first stitch. Our corners will not change on this row. Now we're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. And then we will work our first spike stitch in which we're going to work into the corner at the very bottom of our white rows. Just push your hook through that stitch, yarn over and very loosely pull up a loop and complete your single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Find your spike stitch and move over two stitches and make another spike stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. And continue repeating this all the way across you should end with a single, regular single crochet right before we do our corner. So just continue doing alternating single crochets and the single crochet spike stitches. So here we are working our very last spike stitch, which again is going to be in the white corner, right at the very bottom of our white rows. I'm gonna work one more single crochet stitch and the next stitch should be your corner stitch. So again, into the corner, we are working three single crochets. If you're using stitch markers, feel free to mark the center single crochet for your next corner stitch. And now we're just gonna turn and repeat what we did on the last row. Start with a single crochet in the next stitch, and then a spike stitch in the corner at the bottom of our white rows. Single crochet in the next stitch, Move over two stitches from the last spike stitch and work another spike stitch. The idea is to make the pink connect with the previous pink rows. Continue alternating spike stitches and single crochet stitches until you reach the end of the row. You should end with a single crochet stitch and then work your three single crochets into the corner. When you reach the very end of this row, Remember to single crochet into the very first corner and then you will slip stitch to the very first single crochet. And this is what our row will look like. From this point, all we need to do is repeat rows two through five. So the next row is going to be a single crochet border row using the pink, followed by two rows of the white in just a simple single crochet border. Then we'll be ready to do our spike stitch row again. So now you can see I've worked one row single crochet of pink and two rows single crochet and white. And I'm ready again to start my spike stitch border. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work two single crochets into the corner stitch. This is a repeat of the last spike stitch row, so we're going to start the row with a single crochet and then work a spike stitch into that corner at the base of the white rows. Try to do a spike half double crochet. Let's just do a regular single crochet spike stitch. There we go. And now we're going to single crochet into the next stitch 
spike stitch into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. And now when you spike stitch into the next stitch, you'll notice that you should be approximately directly above your previous spike stitch. We want them to line up. It's not going to be perfect because single crochets do not sit directly above each other, but it should be pretty close. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Spike stitch into the following stitch. And just repeat this all the way around exactly like we did on our first spike stitch row. But this is what it's going to end up looking like with your stitches, your spike stitches stacked directly on top of each other. So I went ahead and completed several of my rows, again working three single crochets into the corner just as we did on our previous spike stitch row. You can repeat rows two through five as many times as you like to make this border as large as you like. Once you've completed it, I do recommend working one single crochet border around the edge after this last spike stitch row to finish off your border. I really hope you liked this border. I love coming up with new crochet border designs um, and I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. And thank you so much for watching.